Hey babes. So I am here with uh, Lizzie and um, I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys a little bit. I know I haven't did a sit down chat with you guys in a while and I know you guys don't get to see much of this little girl here. But of course, you know, when a lot of mommies are waiting on their um, babies, um, the Gabigail cell phone babies, um, they have questions and they like to see babies, you know, the babies that's already out. And um, so I've been getting, of course, a lot of questions about her, her size and all that great stuff. Um, is she textured? Can I compare her to other um, cloth body babies that's out there? I, um, as far as comparing her to other um, cloth babies, uh, in particular, uh, a lot of people have asked me to compare her to Polly. Um, the, uh, when I had Jacory or whatever, and I you know, I don't, only thing I can say, comparing her to um, Silicone Baby, uh, the Rachel Farrell Baby, is um, they both are, you know, nice babies and good sized babies. Um, Gabrielle is bigger um, in length, and I, I feel like her thighs are about as thick. Um, but the poly is going to appear to be a little bit fatter because it's shorter. Um, uh, Gabrielle's feet is a little bit bigger. Um, I'm not sure. On the hand size, poly hands might be, might be a little bit bigger, but I don't know. They're, they're shaped different. I don't know. But yeah, the silicone feels different. Um, um. That was the one of the questions, and as far as um, just how I feel about the texture on her, um, to me, it's a like a velvety, smooth feel, but it feels just it gives it more like a skin feel to me. Um, with the texture for me, is more so of the fact that I feel like I'm getting extra protect protection as far as it you know the baby not going shiny and um so it's more of that for me than anything um so i do i do like it um now of course every baby texture and feel and look is going to be different with each pour each paint job so how my baby come out and how everybody else baby come out or how she looks compared to other ones may vary from one end to the next however um there shouldn't be a huge contrast in the the uh, addition because um if anybody know or have had clear teller babies she's pretty consistent with the quality of her babies um so they pretty much kind of flow almost the same even um, when I had a baby from that was years years old the quality of that baby stood up to some of the babies that was just made um, she's uh, one of the silicone artists that I I feel confident in saying that her work is um, it's, it's very um, very much um, high quality um, you don't get many um, issues or hear many issues about her babies um, but not to say that they don't exist because um, she is not a robot so she's a human so that that's it's possible um, I hadn't had any with any other babies that I've had um, and I've had one, two, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, mm, six, 
six. I've had six Claritella babies. I think. Yeah. Um, silicone babies. And um, I hadn't had no issues with them. So, and some of them was, you know, pre-owned, secondhand, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah. So, I think your mommies will be happy. And I know you guys probably are like on edge waiting. I would be anyway. I've um, told plenty of people like, oh my God, I really want, I want a silicone baby, the wake version. Um, I'm trying to tell myself that I need to let it go and get over it. My fetish with the, the Gabigales. Um, but I really love her. Now, I believe because I have some other friends that um, some of them may even have a little bit more of a fatter body. Um, but I'm not sure. Um, but um, I'm going to see if she can fit this romper. But as far as clothes size, oh my god, like every other baby, it just depends on the brand and the make of the outfit because this girl can wear six to nine months she can wear three to six months most of the time um it's what i put her in three to six months she does have some six to nine months but then in the same time in dresses and rompers sometimes i can put her in a three month and then if a zero to three months especially like onesies i mean it'd be you know pushing it with the tight you know right here where it gets tight it'll get tight because I'm like stretching it but like this um this is a three month um onesie which is pretty big for my babies because I usually put all my babies on newborn onesies but yeah you're probably not gonna really be able to get her in a um newborn this is a three month uh carter Rumper. I'm going to try to get her on this because um, Nene has on one and I wanted to see if she could fit this. Um, I'm very funny about Jean. I don't normally put my baby on Jean. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm going to put it on her so you guys can see what it looks like on her. And so I can see what it looks like on her. I may take her a few pictures in the end and then guess what? It's coming right off. I don't like jean clothes on my babies i know you know a lot of people are like oh it's safe you know if you wash them and this is pre-used pre-owned so it's been washed you know a couple times um but i just don't fully trust it and i'm trying to be careful not so much of with her but i just don't want to rub rub across her i am like just trying to be careful oh so yeah but she feels really nice she's not weighted to the point where she's like um super heavy um so i like that but she is a, you know she's her weight is appropriate for her size i mean you can't have a baby this big and it be two pounds or three pounds or not even four pounds so she's probably eight pounds I'm sure I forget what her weight was it might be eight eight but um yeah oh I gotta watch my time so yeah I mean I I sometime I will tie these in a knot but I guess I don't I don't it's not gonna work with her let's see if I could have crisscrossed it uh, I probably could have crisscrossed it in the back sometimes I crisscross the straps in the back and sometimes I um, tie the top in a, in a knot so that it is uh, let me see move this up a little a bit I don't want to be on camera but that is, <laughs> that's her and her 
Look at the camera. That's her in her little romper. <laughs> she looks cute in a romper. But yeah, keep in mind just um before this video end, I just want to say she's like 23 inches with her legs bent. Um she'll probably be like 25 inches if she was stretched out. So she's a long baby. She's not a little you know she still looks very baby and stuff like that but she is not a you know short baby um i believe the poly is about 20 inches so she's pretty she's pretty long i think she's much longer than that baby but um they're both you know like i said good babies um, i'm not gonna uh just one artist or the other but um you guys already know um i'm a huge uh gabigail fan i really love the sculpt i really do so um yeah i hope this helped some of the new mommies um i may have some other questions that i can answer um her mouth is really full it's detailed gums uvula um she can take any size past it really but i would prefer to do newborn and um her silicone is pretty soft even though it's equal flex um 30 it's still really soft and feels good see you guys later and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment below